Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a new mini-series in my UE4 tutorials. This series is going to cover the act of getting a character to swim underwater as well as along the surface. So this is a mini-series so there will be a couple of parts to this. Uh, and in this first part we're just going to get the character have a movement through the water space. So no animations, no effects, nothing like that, just movement through the water. So the way you get characters to move through water, and for this I'm using the third person template so you can actually see the character. Um, the way we get them to move through water is we have to set up a physics volume to take that part to be water. So for example, if I go into my modes here and click the volumes and search for the physics volume, I can click and drag that out into the world. Now we'll set it to a certain size, so using the brush settings you can drag that out be a particular size. So I'm going to make the whole level here um, ooh, uh, whole level here underwater. Okay. And just increase the size of this. Like so. So you want the whole, in this case, the whole level covered by that box. Um, and what we're going to do as well, actually, if I make this a bit lower. Yep. And move it down. Like so. Good. And then put in, let's say, put another one of these in. Just so we can show you the getting out of the water. So we have this volume, and this is a physics based volume. And on the details panel, you'll see an option saying water volume. Tick this box, and that will now make this a water volume. Now, to show that working with the character movement, my character here, you can see it's a bit sluggish. Okay, I'm applying movement to them, and if I walk off the edge, you see they don't sink or rise, um, they'll just keep swimming around. Okay. But you can also change various settings on your player character. So if you go into your player character and click on character movement, on the right hand side you'll see a detailed panel and if you scroll down you'll find the swimming section. In there you'll find an option for buoyancy. Now one means neutral buoyancy, meaning that you won't go down and you won't go up. But if I put in say something like 1.3 and click compile, my character will now rise towards the surface of the water. And there you go, they're now at the top. Now at the moment we can't go down, we can't swim around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you make a character move based on holding down forwards, in this case W, and using the mouse to steer as you swim around the environment. So let's go into my character. And you'll go to the part where you find the movement. So here's the movement input over here. And I'm just going to move that out to the side so we can easily edit it. So we want this to say the same if we're walking. But if we're swimming, we want to be doing a different thing. So to check, first of all, we are swimming, we need to grab our character movement out. And then from there, we're going to get the movement mode. And you'll see get movement node. And you want to see if this is equal to, so do equals to enum. And the enum we're going to look for, let me just move this all out of the way, from the drop down box, is going to be swimming. And this is going to return true or false, so we put that into a branch. Now that branch is going to go into the front of our move forward here. And if it's false, we're going to continue with the old code. But if it's true, i.e. we are swimming, we want to handle the movement a bit differently. Because at the moment it's using get control rotation, which is not what I want. What I want to do is get the camera's uh, rotation. Okay, so you want to drag your follow camera out, and from there we're going to get the rotation of this. So get world rotation, and it's essentially it's the same as we've got here. So we're going to use get forward vector from here. And then we can use that into our add movement input. So you can copy that if you want, or just search for it. And that going to my world direction. The other nodes, so the true will go to add movement input. And 
the scale value will go into the axis value there. So that's it for moving forwards and backwards because the scalar value would be negative and positive. If you wanted the cat to be able to strafe right or left, um, you can do it exactly the same just on the bottom here for move right. But we're not going to do that, we're just going to make it so it can only move forwards. So now if I go into push play, now I'm in the swimming mode, I can push forwards and use my mouse to control my swimming. If I let go, I'll float back to the surface. If I turn that off, you can just change that buoyancy back to 1. And you can swim around. And it's as simple as that. There you go. Now there's loads of ways you could do movement underwater. Um, we're just using the mouse and the forwards. But if you want, for example, specific keys for swimming up and swim down, you can go about doing that exactly the same as well. It's just you do a separate uh, movement input for that. So swim up would be a different input key and swim down would be a different input key. And you just make the add movement input use the correct vectors for that. I'll let you see if you can figure that one out on your own. Uh, but if you really do get stuck, leave a comment below and we'll consider making it at the end of this series. In that case, that's the end of this episode. In this episode, we set up the water physics volume and the ability to move around in our water volume. In the next episode, we're going to start working on the animation, so making it start look like it's actually moving, swimming around in this water space. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch that next episode right now, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daly and donate just a dollar to get access to that video. There are many other videos on the Patreon, so on there you'll find videos for months ahead before anyone else, as well as many other benefits such as Discord. Thank you to all my supporters for their support so far. We wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so thank you very much to the bottom of my heart. In that case, have a good night and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.